hello dear children in today's video we are going to do a very important topic that is conservation of mechanical energy see uh, we all know that what is conservation of energy what is law of conservation of energy that is energy can neither be created it cannot be destroyed only it can be transformed from one form to another form so this law we are going to prove in terms of mechanical energy what is mechanical energy mechanical energy is the sum of kinetic plus potential in my previous video i had told you uh, simultaneously a body can possess kinetic and potential energy both so in this uh, derivation we are going to prove that that at any point the total energy that is mechanical energy remains constant and this is how we are going to prove it we are going to take three points a b c right initially we are assuming an object of mass m which is kept at a height h from the ground so after that we are going to calculate its total energy total energy means kinetic plus potential at all the three points and we are going to prove it that it remains constant children so remember that uh, point that at all the three points we are going to calculate the total energy total energy means total mechanical energy which will be equal to potential plus kinetic so all the three points first we'll calculate the potential then we'll add, calculate the kinetic energy and then we will add them to get the total energy so i shall start with point a so if i consider the point a if i consider the point a at point a so in that case what is the potential energy so you know that potential energy at point a i am going to calculate so potential energy at point a will be equal to m g h y you know the formula for the potential energy it is m into g into h the body is of mass m it is at height h and gravity is g so formula for potential energy she says that at this point potential energy will be m g h simultaneously what will be the kinetic energy kinetic energy at point a so at this point the body is at rest so velocity is zero velocity is zero means kinetic energy will be zero the body is not at all moving so kinetic energy is zero so what is the total energy so total energy at point a will be potential energy at point a plus kinetic energy at point a so what is potential energy mgh plus zero so this gives us this gives us the thing that total energy at point a is equal to mgh now i have to prove that that at point b and c also the total energy is equal to mgh only so now i am coming to point b now i am coming to point b so before i just start writing the terms for potential energy and kinetic energy children just we'll go back to the figure from this point to this point the distance is h right so if i assume that now the body starts falling down under gravity then i assume at point b let the distance traveled be x means the distance from point a to b is x then what will be the distance between point b and c if total distance is h if this is h this is x so this will be bc distance will be h minus x okay so now we can calculate the potential energy at point b and kinetic energy at point b so potential energy at point b so what is the formula for potential energy potential energy is mg and the height so potential energy is mg and the height now how much 
what is the height how much above the point b is from the ground so it is at a distance of h minus x isn't it so height above the ground at point p for the object will be h minus x so i will substitute instead of h i will write h minus x the height is not h at point b the height is h minus x so potential energy will be mg h minus x or i can write it in one more term that it will be mgh minus mgx this is potential energy at point p now next thing i need to calculate the kinetic energy so kinetic energy at point b is given by the formula you remember the formula half m v square for that i require the value of v right so how i am going to calculate the value of v you all remember the equation of motion three equations of motion two of them s is equal to ut plus half at square and v is equal to u plus at both of them contains t right so we are not talking about time t here so what is the third one third one is v square v square minus u square is equal to 2 as so using using equation now for that calculate to calculate kinetic energy i require v square right so v square as it is minus u square so when the object starts falling from point a initially the object was at rest so initial velocity is 0 is equal to 2 into what is the acceleration we are talking about acceleration is acceleration due to gravity so instead of a i will write g into s so what is the distance from this point to this point the body has fallen down so what is the distance traveled from point a to point b the body has started moving from point a then till point b it has traveled a distance of x units so it is x so what did you get from here we get v square is equal to 2g x now i know the value of v square i can go back and substitute so kinetic energy at point b is equal to half m v square that is equal to half m instead of v square this v i am going to substitute so this will become 2 g x this 2 and this 2 can get cancelled so what is left it is m g x so kinetic energy at point b is m g x now what i am supposed to do i am supposed to find the total energy total mechanical energy so total energy at point b is sum of potential energy at b and kinetic energy at point b so what is potential energy at point b we have calculated this so this is m g h minus m g x plus kinetic energy at point p so kinetic energy at b is m g x can you see this is minus this is plus it will get cancelled so what are we left with we are left with total total energy at point b is m g h so what we have done we have seen that total energy at point a is mgh total energy at point b is also mgh now if i can prove the same thing if i can prove the same thing that total energy at point c is equal to mgh then the proof is done so i'll go to point c now i'm taking the point c the so same way i'm going to calculate the kinetic energy and potential energy so 
first thing what is the potential energy at point c children at this point c c is the point just before where the uh, body hits the ground so what is the height there it is almost to reach this point so this point height will become zero and if height is zero then what will be the potential energy mg h is zero so potential energy will become zero so potential energy at point c is zero again kinetic energy at point c is calculated using the formula half m v square again i need the v value for that i will be using the equation same equation using v square equals v square minus u square is equal to 2 a s now v square we have to calculate initially the body was at rest so u is equal to 0 2 into acceleration we are talking about is g into s so what is the distance from point a to point c what is the distance traveled by the body so it is nothing but the height h so this is your h so what did we get we get as v square is equal to 2 g h correct now this value of v square i can use here so kinetic energy at point c is half m and instead of v square i will use 2 g h so it is 2 g h so this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled so what I am left with? So kinetic energy at point C is M G H. What are we supposed to do? We are supposed to find the total energy. So total energy at point C is nothing but kinetic energy at point or we are writing potential. So we will write potential. Potential energy at point C plus kinetic energy at point C. So what is potential energy at point C? It is 0. And what is the kinetic energy at point C? It is mgh. So total energy at point C is mgh. So what we have proved? We have proved that points A, point B and point C. Point A, point B, point C. Wherever we consider the total energy, every time the total energy remains constant. The total energy, the total mechanical energy remains constant. And hence, the law of conservation of energy. Children, what does it mean? It means that, see here, if I just take a value, numerical value, suppose I say the total energy at point, this point is 100 joule. Now at point A, all the energy is potential because the body is at rest, isn't it? Now, this all energy is potential and when the body will start falling down, in that case, in between any point it will have both kinetic and potential right so whatever be the kinetic energy whatever be the potential energy total will always give you 100 suppose i say at this point the kinetic energy is uh, say 10 joules suppose just like that i said the kinetic energy is 10 joules then the what will be the potential energy potential energy will be 90 joules now suppose i say at this point I, at this point, the potential energy is, say, I say, uh, 10 joules. Then what will be the kinetic energy? Kinetic energy will be 90 joules. So that is how we can say the total energy will be 100 joules. That is what is meant by total energy remains constant. Remember children, from point A to point C, when we move down, the potential energy decreases. It is maximum at the top and as we move down, the potential energy becomes zero, almost zero at point C. And as we move down, the kinetic energy increases. Kinetic energy was zero here and at the point C, 
all the energy it becomes kinetic so at a all the energy is potential at c all the energy is kinetic and in between it is the sum of kinetic plus potential so at any point in between if you are given one type of energy you can easily calculate the other because the total will remain constant so this is what we mean by saying that the energy is conserved that is total energy will remain constant you can note down this in your class work copy